Hey, so in this video, we're going to learn how we can turn our podcast into a video online. So as you probably know, you can't share uh, audio files on social networks like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, and that's because they don't really have audio players. So to get around that, what we're going to do is take our audio file and turn it into a video, uh, add a sound wave, add some artwork, uh, and just make it really nice and shareable. So before we start, let's just look at some examples of what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be looking to output something like this at the end. Uh, or alternatively like this or this one here that has subtitles on it too. Uh, so as you can see like really super nice videos um, that we can share on social and hopefully get some more engagement uh, into your podcast content. So let's go ahead and upload uh, an audio file. I uh, have got this one from Product Hunt Radio. Um, then I'm just going to choose the square layout because I want to post this one on Instagram but obviously you could do it uh, in the story format, if you want to post as a story or a landscape for Twitter and other platforms like that. So all we're going to do to start with is click on our podcast artwork image here and then head to replace. Uh, and what I've done is I've downloaded a um, artwork image from Product Hunt, which is just here, which I'm going to upload. And oh, we've got to wait for our videos to finish uploading first. The reason why we have to do this is because when the video is uploaded, we can actually detect the length of the audio file, and this one's 40 minutes long. So it took a little while to upload, but not too long. Anyway, so now we have our artwork in. We're all good. Uh, if I go to my project settings, let me just change my background color to black because it just looks a bit slicker. But obviously you can do whatever you need to do. Choose some funky colors. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna keep mine black. Um, you could also add in like a custom hex code here for your color, uh, depending on if you have like a brand color that you need to use. Um, but anyway, let's just click play and have a look, see what's happening. So as you can see here, we have this audio wave at the bottom, which is really, really nice. Um, you can extend that, make it bigger. We can stretch them up. It's Ryan so Gilbert, it's your host really big. Radio, um, what I'm actually going to do is kind of volume down so it doesn't interfere too much with the microphone audio. Um, so that looks awesome, but probably a bit too big. So I'm going to bring that back down and I'm also going to make sure the width matches the same size as our artwork too and then just use those snapping lines to get it in the right position. That looks good. Uh, and then I'm going to just, by clicking on the audio wave it kind of brings up the settings here. So you can try the different styles. So this one is called Formation which is a sort of like classic FFT audio graph. Um, we can try Harmony which is really nice. Um, it's a bit softer, has a bit of capacity to it. Uh, Simi, which is our take on, um, I'm sure you know what this is a take on. And also Beam, which is sort of like a line graph audio waveform, which is also really cool. The other thing that you can, uh, that's probably interesting to take to note is depending on the output, the um, volume and levels of your audio file, you might need to tweak it. We have a default here, what we think is really good, but if your audio is a little bit quiet, you might just want to like pump it up um, to a slightly higher number just so uh, it's a lot more visible the effect. Something else that we've added is really super cool is um, a clean audio function as well. So if you're uploading your podcast and there's a little bit of background noise, we have this really cool advanced clean audio feature. You just click clean and that will just remove any background noise and enhance the actual uh, sound of your voice. One thing to note though is if you do click that and it's a 40 minute video, I wouldn't be surprised if it does take about half an hour to 40 minutes to clean that audio. So maybe if you use that one, go away for a cup of tea, come back and then hopefully you're all good. Um, so yeah, see so we're happy with our video now and we're ready to go. Um, all you have to do is click download and your video will start rendering. The other thing that's also super popular is there's obviously like um, video length limits on Instagram and other platforms. So if you just click trim, you can actually just select the part of the uh, podcast maybe that you want to share uh, and just share that bit there. So, you know, we could share the first, let's say we want to share from like minute one to like minute two, just like that. And then, you know, that's like a nice little teaser that you can just like put out on social. And then, yeah, our video is now going to start rendering. Um, you know what? Let's wait. It'll be nice to see the output. Fingers crossed it works. The other thing that you could obviously use this for is uh, for music visualization. So say you're like an artist and you have like a new song out, you could, again, make that into a video or if you're a poet or any other sort of like creative audio content it's really good for. Um, well, it looks like it's rendering. I don't think you need to wait around to see it. 
Um, but you know, there's some really nice examples on our website. And if there's any questions that you might have, um, you can use the chat on our website or drop me an email and I'll be able to help you out. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.